to Washington and to plan vote today on a new House Speaker. Ohio Republican Jim Jordan appears to be gaining ground in his bid, but he has a lot more ground to cover. Our senior congressional correspondent, Rachel Scott, is on Capitol Hill with more. Good morning, Rachel. Michael, good morning to you. The battle over speaker now heads to the floor for a vote, and Congressman Jim Jordan is certainly in for a fight. He has been able to win over some of the holdouts, but he's still far short of the votes he needs. This morning, with the House just hours away from voting on a new speaker, Congressman Jim Jordan is still scrambling to lock in the vote. There's still four, at least four Republicans who say they will not support what? you. How do you get them on board? We're talking to everyone, We're listening to everyone. Um, Again, I feel good about how things are moving. Jordan can only afford to lose the support of four Republicans. Right now, at least 10 have signaled they won't back him. Some of us will not just be walked over on this, and we've been walked on since January. That's where I'm at. I have no reason to change that. Um, and so that's where I'm at. Jordan is one of the Republicans leading the impeachment inquiry into President Biden, a staunch ally of former President Donald Trump, who has pushed false claims about the 2020 election. And that's a problem for Congressman Ken Buck of Colorado. Jim, at some point, if he's going to lead this conference, is going to have to be strong and say Donald Trump didn't win the election. Other Republicans say they've had enough with the party infighting. This has got House of Cards stuff written all over it. We need to get a speaker elected. But it's not as if we have to do it right now. It has to be the right person. The House has been without a speaker for two weeks. First, Kevin McCarthy was ousted. Then Steve Scalise was nominated but dropped out. Now Jordan is up for the job. This is less about Jim Jordan and more about getting government back to work. With such a razor thin majority, members are bracing for a drawn out fight. Realistically, are you preparing for this to go multiple rounds though? We gotta get a speaker. House Democrats joined eight Republicans to oust Kevin McCarthy, but they have made it clear they have no interest in supporting Jim Jordan. But there is real concern on both sides of the aisle that the House has been without a speaker for far too long, George. Sure has. Okay, Rachel, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.